Hi there, my name is Alan, and here at Classy on the Run, we love talking about high-end and luxury makeup and handbags. I'm so excited to be unboxing my first ever Telfer bag. I, I'm, I'm just, I'm very excited. And I'm also going to be sharing with you my experience with the bag security program and how you can snag the Telfer bag of your dreams. So without any further ado, let's get into it. So this brand belongs to the designer, Telfer Clemens. Now one thing that the bags are known for are being vegan leather. I have never touched a Telfer bag. I don't know what the quality is going to be like. Uh, we will in a minute when I unbox this, um, which is what I'm really excited about. Now, the classic shopping bags come in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. Small bags are 150, medium bags are 202, and large bags are 257, all priced in US dollars. The bags have no hardware, they are simply a solid color with a relatively minimal embossed logo. Bags are available in neutrals, bold shades, vivid hues, neons, metallics, literally any color that you can imagine, you can probably get a Telfer bag in. Now, you can't always get the color you want when you want it, which is what we're gonna talk about a little bit more when we get to the bag security program. But in short, with bag security, you're able to get the exact bag and the exact color and the exact size that you want if you're willing to wait. So let's let's get into this unboxing. I have legitimately not opened this. Um, so this is, this is like a real unboxing. Okay, so it came in this large flat DHL box. I live in Canada, so this is just my experience. So we are going to just kind of open it up without showing my address. That's the joy of being on YouTube. Okay, we're going to remove that. It's like a little receipt. Okay, so this is how it came. And I did order two bags, one small and one medium. I'm going to get into, um, when we talk about bag security, I'm going to talk, well, I don't know, at some point I'm going to tell you why I picked each one. So this one is obviously the small bag because it is the smaller bag. So it comes in a plastic Ziploc, open it up, and we have a nice little dust bag. And then we have our bag. Okay, so let's just do that thing where you speed up the voice. Okay, there we go. Oh, I, I love a tiny bag. Okay, we have our bag. Okay, so this color is cerulean, and on the outside you have this beautiful powder blue, and on the inside it's a little bit more of an aqua. We have two little kind of like handbags here, handbags, handles here, and then we have two large straps. None of the straps are removable or adjustable. So this is what the bag looks like. Let's get a little closer. So you can see just how subtle that CT logo is. Very, very minimal branding, which is something I really enjoy. Okay, let's get to our larger bag. Let's put this beside with some eye candy. I will say, oh, and there's like a little tag in there. Okay, now what I will say with this bag is it has been in that box for about two weeks. I've been waiting to been waiting to film this. So anyways, I'm just going to put that there. We're going to let her just breathe outside for a bit. Um, okay, I'm going to move my little, little dust bag over. Okay, and let's get to the next bag up. We're going to just take this box, drop it down. I'm so excited to get this box out of my filming room. Just been waiting here, been like filming, filming. Okay, so again, we've got the bag. We have a dust bag, so you can tell this is obviously the larger one. Okay, and then I'm gonna explain my philosophy between the two bags. Okay, so this. Okay, so this is the medium shopping bag. I'm just gonna like lean back to get it in frame in the shade tan. And I picked this bag because I understand that it fits a 13 inch max which it does, and so I purchased this bag for work. Now inside of this bag, we have a little zipper, a little zipper compartment here that zips up, and then it has just a matching brown interior. It's a really nice, warm, kind of chestnut brown. Again, top handles and longer crossbody straps. I'm very excited. So let's just compare these sizes for a minute. So this is the difference between small and medium. I think they might, 
I mean, I don't know, I'm not going to tell the designer material. I feel like this is like a micro bag, which I knew. I did know the size um, before ordering. And so let's get into why, let's bring it back here. Let's get into why I chose each bag. So to understand why I chose each bag in each color, I think we need to go back to some details of the bag security program. So without a doubt, bag security is the best way to get the bag you want, the size you want, the color you want. You just might not get it when you want. Now, if you are looking at the regular drops, they restock, it seems like every single week, and basically they just pick one color and then they restock all the sizes. If you want that color, fantastic. You can order one bag per size. You could get all three sizes if that is what you want per day. Reality is none of those bags are gonna be in stock the next day because they sell out like that. Now, if you're interested in doing their regular restock, my best advice is to create an account on the website, save your payment information, subscribe, check your email, and every time you see an email, just check it, see if the color works for you. Is this the color you want? Great. Otherwise, just wait for the next email because let me tell you, they come in very consistently. But bag security. Bag security is the way to go if you have some patience. The only catch, and this is why I say you need some patience, is bags ship anywhere from three to six months after you order them. Now, I wanted to share my kind of ordering process with you. I made my order on April 14th, ordering both a small bag and a medium bag. I paid $43 US in shipping to Canada, and that covered all of my duties, which means that when my bag arrived, I didn't have to pay anything extra. So I really appreciate how open the brand was about that when you make the order for us international shoppers. My bag shipped on June 29th and arrived on July 3rd. So overall, I would say I had a really great experience with the bag security program. However, when I placed my order, and even before I placed my order, they were very open on the website. There's no refunds, there's no changes to your order, they are very, very clear, but they did say your bag could arrive anytime up until November 15th. And for me, the kind of bag I want in, let's say, the minimum three months, so I, I basically got it, I'd say, the fastest possible. Um, I'd be curious to see if anyone else uh, who ordered from Bag Security 4, if they received their bag before me. I'm just, I'm just curious. I just want to know. It's not, it's not a race. Um, but anyways, the bags I want in summer are different than the bags I want in fall. So I decided to, I did consider doing two fall color bags, but I had this moment where I was like, what if I was really lucky and I got one in time for summer? So what I decided to do was hedge my bets and get one bag for summer and one bag for fall. So for summer, of course, I chose this gorgeous, it feels like a poolside, sort of cornflower blue. If you know me, you know I'm wearing dresses this color all the time. I love a mini bag. I love my Nano Speedy. I think my Nano Speedy is one of my favorite handbags, but Monogram doesn't always match my summer wardrobe. So I wanted a bag that has similar size to my Nano Speedy. Um, but was in more of a fun summer color. I love being able to wear crossbody. I love how effortless it is. I love being able to just pop in the grocery store with just, just my like few little essentials. So I am so happy with this. The other color I debated was the bubblegum pink. Um, but I, and I almost for a minute was like, what if I got more? And I told myself that one, um, there's always going to be more bags and I do have my eye on a mini pink bag. So I thought the blue would be a lot of fun. I thought that this would be a great, very affordable bag, something that I can just live my life with. So I chose this bag for summer and I'm so happy to have it in my hands in summer and be able to enjoy it. Which means of course my medium bag I chose for fall. And I was very much thinking about a work tote when I chose this bag. Um, I have two existing work totes. One is a navy and white chicard from Kate Spade, and the other is a black tote bag from Kate Spade. And I did want a beautiful brown shade. Now I did consider cream as a work bag, but ultimately when I'm looking for a work bag, I'm looking for something that I don't have to worry about stains or signs of wear and tear. And I just think a classic brown, it's a smart, classic looking bag, fits my laptop. So I'm excited, I'm excited to use this one for work. So anyways, that was my thought process and I'm very glad it worked out for me. The other reason that I decided on the blue is I thought that in a worst case scenario, if I got my bag on, on, on November 15th, I had to think like, what if I got my bag on November 15th? Um, what I decided was that I could wear this bag in winter with like, I feel like the blue could go very summer, but it could also go very winter. So I'm glad that it worked out for me. That is my experience ordering with bag security. 
Um, I'm sure that they will do another bank security program. It's a really popular way for the brand. Um, I think it's a really popular way for the brand to make a fair number of sales because for a rare opportunity, you are able to get exactly the bag you want. And for myself, in my, my handbag philosophy, whether it is a, a more affordable brand, whether it's an expensive brand, I want the exact bag I want because if I'm not getting the exact bag I want, then I feel like I'm wasting money. I want to maximize my enjoyment and use out of the bag. And I just know that if I had waited and waited for, you know, for colors to restock, that I'd eventually find a color and I'd be like, that color is good enough. And then I'd order it. And it's like, I don't want good enough. I don't want good enough if it's $150 or $1,500 or, you know, or more. I want the bag that I want. So I'm very happy with my order. I'm really happy with my experience. I'm glad that there weren't any additional charges on delivery. And I will say that they did, I felt the brand did a really good job at communicating. I think they set expectations very well. And I think the biggest worry I had, it's, I wasn't worried that they wouldn't ship it. I was just, I don't know, I, I was just a little bit stressed, but I thought, you know what? It'll make a good YouTube video. Either way, um, I'm really glad to have one of these bags. I think these are a lot of fun and I'm excited to use them. So if you're interested in hearing more about my handbag collection or you're interested in you know, finding out my thoughts on these bags, definitely subscribe. Over the course, I'm not, I'm not gonna promise it within the next couple of weeks, but hopefully by the end of the summer, I'll be able to provide a review and a comparison between the two bags about how I use each of them in my real life. Of course, I've shared with you how I think I'm going to use them, but I'm excited to share with you how I use them, what fits inside them, and my honest thoughts on them once I've actually like got them out and about. So if that sounds interesting to you, then subscribe. And if you have any questions, always happy to chat with you guys down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye. Mwah.